What's going on guys? Dylan here from PlasmaCuttersReviews.com. We got our hands on the Hypertherm PowerMax 30XP. You guys always see me write about this machine and tell you how great it is and it's one of the one of the best machines that I recommend for people who are looking for a plasma cutter for their shop. And uh, I actually bought one for myself because I needed a new plasma cutter for here at home. Uh, I got a bunch of different cutters at the shop, but uh, here in my home garage I wanted something new. So here she is. Today we're going to be doing a very straightforward video. We're going to be doing a cutting test. I have some pieces of quarter inch flat bar right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with one piece, go to two, go to three, go to four, see how much we can cut with this machine. Just to give you guys an idea of uh, how much power it packs and uh, just to see how it performs. So on this machine, if you look at the rings here, in the 110 configuration, we can go all the way up to 25 amps. And if we hook it up to 220, uh, we can go all the way up to 30. So we're gonna be testing both of those. I'm gonna do one benchmark for the 220, and then I'm gonna do another one uh, with the 110 only. That way you guys can get an idea of uh, what's possible. So let's get to it. We're gonna stick some pieces of metal in the vise, and we'll start with the 220, and then we'll downgrade to the 110 afterwards. Okay, so she's hooked up to 220. I'm using the adapter that uh, comes with the machine, hooked up to my own cord. It's going into the wall. There's the rest of the power cord. There's my air hose hooked to the back of the machine, going to my air compressor. There's the machine itself. Got it turned all the way up 30 amps. There's the torch, there's the ground cable. And there is the quarter inch piece right there. I'll go ahead and get you guys a measurement. That way you guys can be sure that that's what I'm cutting. All right, so here's your all's measurement. There you go, quarter inch. So let's go ahead and get to the first cut and uh, see how she looks. So I'm super excited to start this test. I'm a huge fan of Hypertherm. I love their tools, I love their uh, machines. They produce a really quality product, and I bought this machine with my own money. Hypertherm did not send me this. Uh, if they ever do send me something, I will completely let you guys know. But this was purchased with my own money. Um, I had confidence in this company. Huge fan of theirs. And uh, really excited to show you guys what my machine can do, man. This thing is awesome. So first test, we are on 220. Uh, we're running maximum amps, which is 30, so the machine is turned all the way up. We're going to be cutting one piece of quarter-inch flat bar. So let's go ahead and do the first cut, see how she looks. I'm not gonna be using a straight edge because um, I feel like it will uh, obstruct the camera view. So I'm just gonna be doing a cut. It's not gonna be the straightest cut, but it'll give you an idea of how the uh, penetrating power of the plasma cutter. So uh, let's go ahead and do it. All right. So there's the first cut, that was real time. Didn't speed it up, didn't slow it down. Real time cut on a quarter inch flat bar. So we're gonna go ahead and throw another piece in here and we'll go for half an inch. Okay, so I have another uh, pre-cut piece that I already had. So I put the two together, gonna make a nice straight cut um, behind the lines and we'll see how it looks. This is 30 amps maxed out on 220 volts doing a half inch cut, two pieces of quarter inch flat bar. So going for a half inch cut. Here we go. Boom, there she goes. Uh, real time once again. Really, really clean cut. I think that one even looks better than the first one just because I was a little more steady on my hands. But uh, like I said, a little slag here at the bottom, but half inch, no problem. Would have no problem using this machine uh, cutting half inch steel. So let's go ahead and third, throw a uh, third piece in there, see how it looks, but that looks dynamite. That's something to be proud of right there. Okay, so I got you guys a little bit of closer view. This is three pieces of quarter inch flat bar. We are on 220 volts, running max of 30 amps of the machine. So we are turned all the way up. It's gonna go for three quarter inch flat bars. Here we go. Okay, 
So I made the cut all the way through. I'm gonna have to tap it with a hammer, it did not fall off. There she goes. Three quarters of an inch, man. That is insane. That is a really clean cut too. It's a little goobered up right there at the top, but uh, really clean cut, doable. I mean, this machine's a little small, I think for three quarters of an inch, I had to go pretty slow. But uh, the fact is, is that if I had to make a cut, you know, I could make it happen. You know, I could, I could kind of uh, pull it along and make it work. But uh, half inch, no problem. Three quarters of an inch, it still cut it, man. That's really impressive. So let's go ahead and throw a fourth one on there, see if we can get through four. Okay, going for one inch. My vise here at home is kind of small. Couldn't grip this in my vise, but I uh, got a clamp on it to hold it. I'm gonna cut four inches, a quarter inch flat bar. I'm gonna go really slow. This is gonna be real time once again. I'm gonna go really slow because it's not gonna cut it if I go fast. Um, this is just kind of a bragging rights test to see if we can get through it. So not very practical, but let's see if we can do it. Here we go. Uh, we're maxed out, 220 volts. Excuse me, yeah, 220 volts, 30 amps. Machine's maxed out. Here we go. So not ideal, uh, see what we got here. So just looking at it here on the side, I'll show you guys this other view. So looking at it here on the side, you can obviously see it did not go all the way through. So one inch, not gonna do it, three quarters of an inch, it will do it. So right on, very, very impressive. I'm really happy with that. Okay, we got a fresh piece of quarter inch in there. Machine is now set up to just below 25. It says they're 20 amp, 120 volt in the blue. So we're in the blue. Hooked into the wall here, a normal wall socket with the adapter that's included with the machine. And let's go ahead and get some test cuts. Okay, fine consumables are installed. First cut of 120 volt, 20 amp with the fine tip consumables. Here we go. So there we go, nice clean cut, looks good. Pretty impressive, quarter inch. I'd have absolutely no problem cutting quarter inch uh, pretty much anywhere. I mean, you can find a, a 110 volt plug anywhere. So uh, makes this machine really mobile. So that's impressive. Let's go ahead and put a second plate and see what you can do. Okay, 120 volt, 120 amps, going for a half inch cut. I am not using the fine tip consumables. I'm using the regular ones. I seem to find that they cut better. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and use. Here we go. All right, so there we go. That's a half inch. I mean, that looks pretty good. Uh, it's a little rough, but for standard wall socket, you know, pretty much take it anywhere and cut a half inch thick piece of steel. That is pretty impressive. So, I mean, that's doable. If I had a project that had to make a half inch cut, um, I could use that and use a grinder and clean it up. Pretty impressive. Uh, so I'm not gonna go ahead and do the three plates because I know it's not gonna penetrate it. Uh, it'd just be a waste of time. So basically, end result here is that on the 110, you're gonna get half inch maximum. On 220, you're gonna get three quarters of an inch. Uh, that's really impressive for this little tiny machine. I mean, this thing is super, super small, really, really mobile. So to have that much power in such a small unit uh, is really, really cool. So very happy with this machine. So the end result, guys, this thing performs phenomenal. I'm really, really happy with everything that it does. 
Uh, 110, you're gonna be able to cut up to a half inch. On 220, you can cut up to three quarters of an inch. For a machine this small, I mean, you can see that's a hammer. That's the machine. I mean, that's really tiny. So for something this mobile and this small to be able to have that much capability is really impressive. The fact that it's made in the USA uh, just puts a smile on my face. So anyway, I'm really, really happy with this machine. I love that it comes with all the adapters and pretty much everything you need to get started, the glasses, the gloves. I think it's a phenomenal buy. Um, I will post a link down in the video description if you guys are interested in this machine. I'll post the link to where I actually bought this from. I got it on Amazon. Um, I'll post the exact link for that. As always, you can head over to PlasmaCuttersReviews.com. Check out our review over there. And if you need any other information on Plasma Cutters, uh, we'll be glad to help you out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and I will see you guys in the next one.